So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the, a football player. I chose Derek Carr. So the first thing I looked up was my football player, so I chose Derek Carr. Then to save it, I'm going to hold my finger down, and then I'm going to click Add to Photos. Then I'm going to go into Adobe Draw, and we're going to insert the picture. So I'm going to click the plus sign, and then the iPad Pro, any page would work. To insert the photo, I'm going to click the plus sign, image layer, then on my iPad, and I'm going to select the photo that I want. Then I will resize it to fill up most of my page, because it'll just be easier to draw it if it's bigger. So I'm going to make it bigger so it fills up the whole page, and then um, we can start drawing it. So I click done in the corner when you have it the size you want. Now there's a layer right below this picture. I'm just going to hold my finger down it and move it above because when we're drawing we need to draw all the way above it. Then for the brush I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the second one. It kind of looks like a little point and I'm going to switch to a black first and I'm going to start drawing my outline. So the bottom circle is where you change the color. So I'm going to move it to a black and then I'm zooming in and I'm going to change the size of the brush because we don't need it too big. So hit that back arrow if you ever need to make, go back and erase. So I change the size to try and find the correct size that I need. Alright, and then way up on the top is where the back arrow is, so if you ever make any mistakes, make sure you quickly hit this back arrow, and it'll make life a lot easier for you. So now I'm going to go around all of the different shapes that I see, or anytime there's like a switch in color, I'm going to trace around that. So I'm, I've sped this up really fast. And to check what I've all done, I double click the tiny picture to then of Derek Carr and then it will show just what I've drawn. So that's a good way to check to see what you've already traced around. So anytime I see like a little line or a wrinkle, I drew one line to add extra detail like that. Um, but wherever you see any different shape, you're going to make sure you want to trace around that. So here you can see kind of what the outline looks like, what I have. Uh, you can see the wrinkles. I didn't add like too much detail, but there's plenty enough to tell what it is. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and check to make sure all the lines that I have are all connected to each other. So we had to make sure all the black lines are touching each other because when we fill it in with color, if they're not connected, it won't fill in the shape. So I'm cleaning things up, making sure I have everything nicely connected as you can see. So take your time with this and it'll save you time later. Another important thing is way at the bottom where the picture is kind of going off the page, I have to connect the bottom of his pants together. So make sure you do that if that's what your kind of picture looks like. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to start filling it in. So I'm choosing a different brush and changing the opacity to be all the way to 100%. That way it's not um, like see-through. To change the color, it's the bottom circle. And if we want to match the perfect color, you're going to hold down your finger and then you're going to slide your finger to whatever color that you want to perfectly match. And it'll be the exact color that is on the screen. And to fill in, I'm just going to hold down my finger and it's going to fill in that space if it's all the way closed. So when I did this, I see that it filled in way too much. And that means I'm missing um, parts that are closed. So I'm going to hit the back arrow to erase that fill in. And then I'm going to go back to that same black brush that I was using. And I'm going to zoom in and try and figure out where I didn't have it all the way closed. So you might have to do this several times. I definitely did, especially when you have a lot more lines or a harder picture. Um, there's lots of different spots that you forget to kind of connect. 
So I will just keep on um, trying to find the spots that aren't connected. Then I'm going to try filling it in until I have it just being the jersey that is the black color. So I don't want to fill in too much that's not the right color. Then I'm going to keep on filling in the picture. So I'm using just the different brushes and then changing the color using that little picker tool. So you hold down where the color is, slide it to wherever that spot is on the image, and then you're going to press to fill in. If the spots are filling in too much, then remember to hit the back arrow, change back to that black brush, and then try and connect all the spots so that it's only filling in the spots you need. So this did take a lot of time because I had a lot of spots that I needed to connect and a lot of different things that I needed to fill in. But this is a nice way to fill in your picture and get the right colors is using that picker tool. Alright, so here I am pretty much done with the picture. It looks great how it is, but I can take this a step further and add even more details and more different colors to make it look more realistic. So you can stop here, but I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm turning this on and off just to see um, if I missed any spots. To add even more detail, I'm going to add another draw layer, so I hit the plus sign and then draw layer, and then I am going to zoom in and add more details to its face and the rest of its body. So I'm going to use the picker tool to change the different colors on his face, looking kind of where the colors change the most. Um, just adding more colors is going to make it look a little bit more realistic. So if you kind of want to watch how I do it, and then I'm going to end up changing the opacity and the blend mode. So here I'm just choosing where I need to probably add more details like the eyes, the cheeks, the nose just so it kind of stands out a little bit more. So I'm kind of roughly drawing in where there's like highlights where it's lighter or where it's way darker. So as you can see, this looks very um, noticeable. So I'm now going to change the blend mode and the opacity to make it look like it's not as noticeable. So to make it blend in a little bit more, I'm going to click that image layer then I'm going to change the opacity, so right now it's at 100, I can slide that down to around like 30, whatever looks normal, and then I'm also going to change the blend mode. So right now that's on normal, but I'm going to change that to kind of whatever looks the best. So just changing the opacity makes it blend in a little bit more. Then I'm going to go maybe to like lighten or overlay or soft light, and that's going to blend it in a lot better. It's going to kind of make it look not as noticeable. If you zoom out, and if you like how it looks zoomed out, that's like great. Because if you get this printed, you won't be seeing it way up close. Then for the rest of the picture, I'm just adding more detail. So I'm turning off that layer that I've colored on, and then I'm adding just wherever I see a change in color. So I'll kind of explain to you where I'm seeing in my pictures. So right now I know like this arm, I see that there's a shadow there, so I'm going to draw a line where it is and then fill it in with the color on the same layer that I've already changed the opacity to 30%. And this is just going to help make it like stand out. So I'm doing a lot of like turning on and off just so I can see where there's like darker colors or way lighter colors than what I have. So I'm looking for shadows or highlights. So shadows are the dark colors. Highlights are where it's way lighter. So this is just adding more and more, more and more colors so that it looks a little bit more realistic. If it's ever easier just to add a new layer, hit that plus sign to get a new drawing layer. So that way you can keep on um, drawing and adding more colors to make it look more realistic. So I just added another layer and now I'm just going to add even more. So hopefully make it look more realistic. For some reason when I zoom out and look at the picture, I try and look where does it look a little funny. And for me it looks funny on the eye. So I'm trying to fix that. So I added a new layer and 
you're going to try and fix how the eyes look. Um, you would normally think you'd pick a white color for the eyes, but using that picker tool and selecting the color by the eye, you realize it's not really white in the photo. So using the picker tool is really nice to try and get that same color. So as you can see, I'm adding just more and more details of where the color shifts. And then I'm going to change that opacity and the blend mode to make it not as noticeable. And then if I zoom out and if I like how it looks, that's perfect. And you don't have to add all these extra details, but it does start to make it look a little bit more realistic. But this does take a lot of extra time. Now I'm going to do the background. So I need to add a new layer and I need to move that layer below my football player because it goes behind it. So I'm just drawing all the white little details and then I'm going to draw a rectangle green around it and then fill it in with the green. So use that color picker. Now I notice that like it looks weird since the legs are cut off on my drawing right now. So I am going to end up merging all the pictures together. So I click the picture and then I'm clicking merge down to join all the pictures together. So it's one whole picture now. There's no layers anymore. So you click the picture, click merge down. Once it's on all one layer, I can click that image again, and then I'm gonna click transform. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so it fits on the page, but not too big where all my hard work is gonna be cut off. So I'm basically trying to have it where the legs don't look like they're floating half legs. Now that I'm done with it, I end up clicking the upload button and then I click save image to save the picture and here is the end result um, of my Derek car. So adding all those extra little colors did help make it look realistic, but you could have stopped after just kind of filling in the general color.